Ladies and gentlemen, a nice golden shot welcome for Lena Zavaroni. Lena Zavaroni was the little girl with the big voice, who shot to fame when she won a television talent show in the mid-70s. For a while, the ten-year-old child had the world at her feet. But then her life was destroyed by the eating disorder, anorexia nervosa. Lena was born on the small Scottish island of Butte. Her father worked in the family fish and chip shop in the island town of Rothsey. She started singing, I think, when she was in my arms. I always had a, a guitar, you know. My wife sung. And um, she always had music around her. So she was sort of brought up in that environment, you know. She had a great sense of humour. She could have me in fits of laughing. Um, in fact, if you ask any of our friends or relatives, they'll tell you the same thing. Used to make shows up outside the front door. I was about five years old at the time. What we used to do is, at the windows, we used to shut the curtains to make it look like a stage. And we used to dress up in long dresses and think we're, we were film stars or, you know, p appearing in stage on the television. And then my Uncle Victor would get the accordion out and we'd all start singing. It was great fun, really good fun. Well, I was doing an odd club, maybe, you know, uh, once or twice a month. And uh, it was just by accident one time Lena got up and sang a song. Nobody wanted her to stop singing. They would listen to her all day because she was so tiny. She was about five or six. And this great voice was coming out of a wee girl of that age. They just wanted her to sing all day. She wasn't a precocious little girl. She just enjoyed doing it, you know. We did lots of things together. We used to go to the pavilion and we used to go up there and sing and we'd win prizes for the singing and separate age groups, of course. And uh, we get barred from uh, the Winter Gardens because we kept winning the prizes. We weren't giving the other kids a chance. I thought then she was absolutely fantastic and I felt because she was so young that this talent's been wasted on a, a small island. Why doesn't everybody else get a little share of it? And that's why I wrote away to Opportunity Knox. While her cousin Margaret was waiting for her reply from Opportunity Knox, a record producer who was visiting the island heard Lena sing and quickly introduced her to a top show business agent. Dorothy Solomon was in no doubt about the star quality of the ten-year-old schoolgirl. When you saw this little girl, I don't forget, Lena was very tiny, and this enormous voice, you couldn't believe it. Oh, gosh, this is phenomenal, really. I must have thought, uh, she can go on to be another Streisand, I suppose. Dorothy was keen to sign Lena before she appeared on Opportunity Knox. I thought to myself, well, I don't want to just jump in. She's young. Although there was a chance there that she could make it as an artist, maybe, you know, um, and make a career out of it, really. But um, at the time, I was a bit confused. 
because I, you know um, I took a little while to decide whether to do it or not and I eventually I went for it she appeared on the show on the 6th of January 1974 that night her life was to change is forever your compare Huey Green that night you know Everybody in Ireland must have, you could hear a pin drop in Ireland. I think everybody was in watching it. Thank you, thank you so much. We all went up to my Uncle Victor's house to watch it, and everybody's going, be quiet, be quiet, nobody speak. So my Aunt Hilda, she would go and make all the tea and have the biscuits ready, you know, so that nobody would be up and about or going to the toilet. We're all just sitting, watching the television like that, and our mouths are opening up. You know, that's Lena. That's my cousin. That's my daughter. <laughs> that was my Uncle Victor. And he was so proud and he's going, That's my daughter. <laughs> Mama. Lena won the show five times in a row. And her song, Ma, He's Making Eyes at Me, became a top ten hit. You thought, well, she's done Opportunity Knox. She's done this programme. It's been... It's been... Uh, the build up to it was fantastic, but what you never thought of, what was going to happen the next day, or the next day, or the next day, or the next year, you never thought of that. But no one could have imagined what did lie ahead for Lena. When still only 10 years old, she left her family on the Isle of Butte and went with her agent Dorothy in search of fame. She toured Japan, where Ma was a number one hit. She also went to America, where the little girls from Rothsey sung to President Ford in the White House and even met Frank Sinatra. I always remember um, someone uh, came to the door and uh, they were knocking on the door and uh, when I opened the door, this person standing there said, did you see your daughter today? I said, no. She's right on the front page, Frank Sinatra. I just couldn't believe it. You know, and uh, it said that she, you know, she'd talked to Lucille Ball and was it Jerry Lewis and other various American stars, and it, it was totally, you know, it was totally unbelievable. You, you were expecting to wake up for a dream light, you know, to, to know that this, all this was happening to her, you know. Was a different world for her. It certainly was, and it, it was all different for us here in Rossi, knowing that Lena was away down in London and doing all that work. It was awkward for her to get to London because of the fact that she lived on the island. And so she stayed with us for a short time, and um, it, it was always a, an awkward situation because uh, Victor and Hilda were obviously on the island with Carla and um, Lena, when she was with me, she would phone them every night. Of course she went home on the school holidays. I don't know, I suppose it was like being at boarding school really. She stayed with Dorothy at this luscious flat in Park Lane, you know, and we went to dinner there once. And it was, you know, it was like uh, you were sitting in Buckingham Palace, really, you know, in front of the Queen. For Lena, a little girl who'd just yeah. come from an island, we're full of fish and chip shops. And uh, suddenly it was, everything was huge and all ornate and beautiful. And uh, she had to, I would feel that she would immediately have to be on her best behaviour, you might say, you know, don't break this, don't touch that, do mm. all the right things. Well. You can imagine how a child was, and her parents weren't around, I mean, uh, they weren't there. Dorothy became her, her mother, in a sense. Do you have any children of your own? No, my dear. I've stuck to dogs and horses. Never in my plan. <laughs>